Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about the five top players that are wide receivers and tight ends. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these five players would you guys pick up in your squad. Obviously, I want all five on my squad. Tyreek Hill might pass on because, you know, Jamar Chase does have the better speed. But overall, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Consider showing me some love, like, subscribe, put notifications. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel for Man Ultimate Team and for the Man 22 season. And I'll be posting it and let's jump into it. Now, obviously, before we talk about the top five players on this list, wide receivers and tight end, the only suggestions that I can give you guys is if you guys plan on building a theme team early on throughout the year, make sure you guys pick up those players for your theme team. So if you guys do plan, for example, running Atlanta and making an Atlanta theme team, Julio Jones would be a perfect addition to your team. So something to keep in mind when we look at these players is something you guys want to consider. But our fifth player is Julio Jones, 84 speed, 87 jumping, 84 catching, 84 catching traffic, 84 spectacular catch, 84 short route running, 83 medium route running, and 80 deep route running. Overall, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Julio's card is overall, everything is green, everything looks good, right? My only problem is I feel like there's better wide receivers within this position. I believe Julio's a route runner, so I believe we do have other better route runners in the game. Me personally, early on in the year, I'm gonna be going for God Squad, or basically every single best player in the game, I'm gonna try to have them on my team, which is gonna mean a lot of money's gonna be spent, but overall, Julio Jones, one of the better wide receivers in the game. I won't put him in the outside positions, but I would definitely consider putting him in the slot if I do pick him up. Our fourth player is DeAndre Hopkins, 84 speed, 89 jumping, better jumping, 85 catching, 86 catching traffic, 86 protective catch, 84 show route running, 83 mean route running, and 83 deep route running. I can't complain about this card. I really want this card on my team. I mean, just like Julio, he's a really good wide receiver. Not only does he have the speed, but he has the jumping, the hands, and all the route running. For me, I can't complain about this card. I think I'd rather have Hopkins over Julio, but let me know your thoughts on that down below. I know a lot of people would rather have Julio than Hopkins, but... Me personally, I might go with Hopkins. So let me know out of the two, which one would you guys get on your squad? Our third player, guys, is Tyree Kill, and I'm gonna pass on this card early on in the year. I'm gonna wait until Tyree goes down in price. If I see that he's going for a reasonable price, I'll pick him up, you know, get him on the low, and he's guaranteed an upgrade. He's guaranteed to be the fastest player eventually in the game, but they gave it to rookie premier Jamar Chase for some weird reason. 89 speed, 84 jumping, 80 catching, 79 catching traffic, 81 spectacular catch, 84 show route running, 82 meme route running, and 89 deep route running. We all know that Tyreek Kill, he has two things going for him. The speed and deep route running. If you guys are planning to build a Chiefs theme team, pick him up, right? He would be worth it early on if you guys can get him for the right price. But if you guys early on want the best players, Jamar Chase is the fastest wide receiver. And Jamar Chase overall is a better player than Tyreek Hill early on in the game for Madden Ultimate Team. Our next player is Travis Kelsey, 88 overall tight end, 81 speed, 72 strength, 87 catch in traffic, 84 spectacular, 84 catch in traffic, 86 spectacular catch, 88 short route running, 85 meme route running, and 70 run blocking. Early on in the year, I know it's Travis Kelsey. He's not the best player. We all know that Kyle Pitts for rookie premieres is going to take that position and be ranked number one for the best for tight ends. I mean, he has a higher speed than Travis Kelsey. It's not even close. But like I said, if you guys are running theme teams, pick up Travis Kelsey. For a Chiefs theme team early on, I feel like it could be possible. And I feel like if you guys can get that, their chemistry boost is going to be crazy. But overall, early on in the year, I'm going to pass on him. If he's going for the right price, on the auction market, I'll pick him up. You know, pick him up because I know, I know he's eventually going to get an upgrade and he's going to be the best tight end. So, I'll invest in the car, but I won't go after him early on. And our number one player, the best player in Madden Ultimate Team, Devontae Adams. I mean, what can I say, man? His worst stat right here is an A2 deep route running. I mean, if I pick him up, he's going to be in the slot. And another all right stat is his speed. I have a problem with the speed. But if I do pick up Devontae Adams or if I pull him in the pack, I'm definitely 100% going to power him up just because that plus one speed is going to matter early on. You guys already know me for wide receivers. At this point, early in the game, I need more than 85 speed. 
right? I know I said I won't look at any wide receivers that are under 85 speed, but I can get him to 85 speed powered up, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I can add him to the team, put him in the slot for Gun Bunch, and he's gonna get open and make some crazy catches. But overall, Devontae Adams, the best player just in general in Madden Ultimate Team day one, week one. Basically, one player I really want. Let me know what's that one player you guys want in your squad. For me, it's Devontae Adams. Everybody else, Julio, no. Hopkins, no. Kelsey, no. Early on in the year, no. Right? Would I invest in their cards so down the road I can, you know, power them up much faster and have, you know, everything much more prepared for when that new card drops? Yes, I'll invest in the card. That's what you guys should do. Think smart. You know, have these cards ready. But overall, I mean, Devontae Adams, the best, you know, wide receiver in the game and the best player just in general in Madden Ultimate Team. So let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts. And if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Consider showing some love, like, subscribe, put notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next one.